Zany friends, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. And today we're going to talk about a book called Pretty Things. It is by Janelle Brown and I did receive it for review and it is already out because I'm super behind on my reviews. I did also just find out that they are making this book into a movie. Um, it might be on, it's either on Amazon or Hulu. I cannot remember. It's probably Amazon. Um, and it is the story of a woman who is kind of like a, a con artist and I'm going to put like a disclaimer on this. She's a con artist kind of like casually. She does it because her mom has cancer so she has a lot of medical bills so she's she's doing it not professionally but because technically not professionally but she's doing it that was kind of the catalyst for her doing it. And she's doing it with this guy. So her mom used to be a con artist too. And basically they will target rich people and she will party with them and go to their house and then catalog what they have in the house. And then they will only take like a few of the things that it won't be a high price amount. It will be sometimes like a middle amount, but it'll be something that they probably won't miss. Uh, something that will get them some money, but that, you know, they probably won't miss and they won't necessarily uh, report as missing. So she does this for a little while and then her mother's cancer comes back even more with a vengeance and it's gonna cost like half a million dollars. It's like it's like an exorbitant amount of money, right? So she has started to follow this this woman who is the sister of her first love in high school. The way that she and her first love kind of parted ways, you don't really find out until like halfway through the book, but the way that they part ways is very tragic in, in a young love area. They're kind of ripped apart. And because of that, she harbors a lot of ill feelings towards this family and what they took from her. So she decides to target the, the woman who's the sister of this guy. And you're probably wondering why is she isn't targeting the guy. Well, there's a definite reason for it and you're going to find out in this book. This book is kind of weird because the way that you, they keep feeding you information into it is very, very interesting. I can't even explain to you how everything is so nuanced that you really like if you take this book for face value you'll think of it one way and then later on you'll be like oh the perspective has totally changed as to what they were explaining so that's kind of why this book is really hard to explain but also really riveting to read i really enjoyed this book i gave it four stars i thought it was quite 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 interesting you know especially how it it winds up I don't think I really expected how it was it wasn't shocking but it was also kind of like hmm not the way that this book was gonna go but it was good <laughs> it was a good thing which at least keeps you paying attention exactly so that is my review of pretty things again I really liked it and if you like thrillers you'll probably or it's not suspense but suspense mystery if you like the kind of thing you'll probably really like this book a lot and I'll put all the information down below for you so until next time stay zandy bye, -bye.